dinosaurs, asteroids, ancient Mayan rituals, crocodiles, epic scuba diving, and it's all connected in today's episode on the Dive Saga channel. Deep in the jungle of the Mayan Riviera in Mexico, we find some of the world's most unique dive sites known as cenotes. Cenotes are caves, pits or sinkholes that contain water and the word cenote, a term that is predominantly used in Mexico, comes from the Mayan word to indicate any location that has a water deposit. It is those cenotes that we are exploring today. And where there's water, eventually there will be scuba divers. So around the mid-1980s, scuba divers started to arrive in the Yucatan Peninsula and started to explore these caves underneath the jungle floor. To understand how these caves formed in the first place, we have to go back in time a little. In today's episode on the Dive Saga channel. No, like a lot further back in time. About 66 million years ago, dinosaurs still roamed the Earth and the Dive Saga channel had not yet been created, so we have to use 3D renderings to show you that. But not for too much longer, because a giant asteroid was hurtling towards the Earth. It is commonly accepted knowledge that dinosaurs went extinct because an asteroid impacted our planet. It is believed that this is the event that wiped out all non-avian dinosaurs and aided in the creation of the Yucatan Peninsula and its geological properties. Further south in the Mayan Riviera, erosion eventually led to the creation of caves and millions of years later, as some cave ceilings collapsed, cenote access was created through sinkholes. Millions of years later, humans reached the American continent and Mayan civilization came along. It is known that the Mayans were infatuated with these sinkholes and caves and used them as places for shelter and commerce. In many cenotes, divers can even find pottery to this day. Just to be clear, removing artifacts from the cenotes is highly illegal and this is luckily very enforced by the passionate local cave diving community and the Mexican authorities. The history of the cenotes also has a more sinister side to it because Mayans used to see these caves as portals to the underworld and the representative god Xibalba. During those times, these caves weren't flooded, so they were accessible and Mayans would use these as sacred places, they would conduct business there, but it is also thought that they would conduct human sacrifices in the cenotes. Now, diving somewhere where human sacrifices took place is not something you do every day. Over the centuries, slightly acidic rain has eroded tunnels through the porous limestone underneath the Yucatan Peninsula. As the climate warmed after the last ice age and sea levels rose, these tunnels and sinkholes flooded with water. And that brings us to today, a whole section of Mexico 
porous as Swiss cheese filled with water and right next to the international airport of Cancun. It's like a real diver's paradise. Most commonly dived cenotes are located along this highway right here in the Quintana Roo province, leading south from Cancun through Playa del Carmen and Tulum, making them extremely accessible to most divers who visit the region. Some cenotes like Dos Ojos are even especially geared towards snorkelers and first-time cenote explorers with a variety of amenities. Others are a bit more of the beaten track or are simply for more experienced divers and are therefore less built out. Either way, you have to dive with a certified cave diver as your guide and they have to guide you at a maximum ratio of 4 to 1 while they carry a redundant air system like doubles or side mount with a long hose. You can't explore these cenotes by yourself, but you also don't have to be a certified cave diver to dive with the guides. Divers can never be more than 60 meters linear distance from the surface always need to see daylight and should never pass through a restriction that they can't return through while sharing an alternate air source with another diver. For most popular cenotes, this means divers need to follow a permanent line that's installed inside the cavern. All other dives require a cave diving certification as they are considerably more dangerous and accidents on those dives can easily lead to death. There are generally two types of cenotes. Some are more cavernous and include some overhead environments. Others are vertical sinkholes and can be explored without ever giving up direct overhead access to the surface. One example of this is Cenote Angelita, where forest debris regularly falls into the sinkhole, forming a pile on the bottom. The decomposing leaves and other organic material form a hydrogen sulfide cloud that stratifies between the salt water underneath coming from the nearby ocean and the fresh rainwater on top. Hydrogen sulfide is poisonous, but as long as we keep our regulators in, it is perfectly safe to play with the clouds that it forms. On this particular dive site, there was also a small crocodile on one of our dives. And this is not super usual for this dive site, but it is super cool footage, so I'm gonna let it play out for you guys. There are also cenotes that are known for their unusual geological or biological formations, like Hell's Bells, which features alien formations shaped like upside-down mushrooms growing from the ceiling at 40 meters or 130 feet. Other cenotes have spectacular light shows, generated by the sunlight piercing through the jungle foliage before it hits the crystal clear cenote waters. Yet other cenotes have spectacular entry and exit techniques where equipment needs to be lowered into the water or ladders need to be climbed. 
Some even allow for a quick breather during the dive in the middle of the jungle. There are many reasons to travel out here and spend some time feeling the presence of ancient civilizations and their gods as you dive through the portals to the underworld. I think you can see why the cenotes in Mexico are definitely something to place on your bucket list. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Dive Saga channel if you like content like this and I will see you next time.